Recently, I have got Insta360 X3 camera for testing purpose. So I've recorded some video using this camera and when I get back to my computer to edit this video, I found that I have to use Insta360 Studio to edit the clips or to reframe me, right? But I don't want to use that. I want to use Adobe Premiere Pro. So today I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit any 360 video inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So these are the files that I have recorded this is a single file and this is another file so when you are using any 360 camera the camera record two separate video one is for this front lens and another one is for the back lens so if you want to edit the video using adobe premiere pro first you need to download insta360 studio that's how insta360 stitch the video together you have to use that software so first go to your browser and search for insta360 studio and just download the application and install it so here you will get the software for your camera i'll click insert 360 x3 and from here you can download the software right after downloading the software you have to install it and then you have to use another software which is from gopro you have to use that plugin to reframe the clip inside adobe premiere pro so you have to install that plugin too so search for gopro fx reframe and then you'll get a page like this one and from here you have to download gopro fx reframe plugin for adobe premiere pro just download it and then install it after installing it you are ready to start the editing right so here you have to import the clip inside premiere pro i'm going to use this two clip i'll put a link in the description below of this exact same clip so that you can download it and you can practice along with me right so just click and drag this to import it. I have already imported the files. You'll see there are two separate files. Don't worry, you don't need to use the two files. You can just work with a single file. So first make a new sequence. I'm just making a 1080p sequence. I'll select DSLR 1080p 24 FPS. Then I'll click OK, right? And then click and drag any of the clip here on your timeline. Then Premiere Pro will give you a notification. Just click here on the keep existing settings. And now you can see the video is not looking great. It is looking weird, right? If I play it back, you can see the video is not stitched together. To stitch it, first we need to use the GoPro FX plugin. So go to FX panel. If you don't see FX panel, go to window. And from here, you have to enable FX. Then search for reframe. Then you'll see GoPro FX reframe, which we have downloaded earlier, is ready to use. Just click and drag this effect here on top of your video then get back to effects control panel which is this one if you don't see then go to window enable effects control then this panel will appear from here go here which called gopro fx reframe under this effect you'll see a drop down menu from here you have to select the resolution that you have shoot the video right i've shoot the video using 4k resolution so i'll select maybe this one uhd 16 to 9 3840 into 2160 if you click that then gopro fx reframe effect will make the video editable in adobe premiere pro right so from here you can increase the scale maybe 50 percent so that it fill the whole screen then you can click here on the gopro fx reframe and then click and drag to reframe the video right just like this one if you see the computer is struggling to edit the video properly then you can just make a proxy if you want to make a proxy then click the two clips from here and right click then click here on proxy create proxies then select a preset i'll select progress medium resolution proxy then click ok then premiere pro will fire up adobe media encoder and media encoder will make a lower resolution version of this exact same clip which is much easier for Adobe Premiere Pro to work with, right? So you can see Adobe Encoder is making proxy files for the video clips. After making the proxy ingesting, it will automatically link the clips with Adobe Premiere Pro. So here the proxy making is done. You can close Media Encoder and get back here in Adobe Premiere Pro. Here you will see there are two separate icon which indicates the proxy is available for this clip to enable proxy you have to go here on the program panel then you have to click on this plus icon and from here you have to enable the proxies so i'll just click here on this toggle proxies now you can see that proxies icon turned in blue color right so it is activated now now we can start editing so go to at the beginning of your clip 
suppose I want to start from here I will trim out the portion from here now I want to add keyframes so just click here to add keyframes if you want to zoom out then you can just click here or if you want to zoom in then you can click here just like this I'll zoom in maybe 110 percent then I'll go forward till this portion and I will reframe it just like that and here I will just zoom out it to get a vertigo effect just like this so if I play it back now you'll see there is a vertigo effect going on right so here I will add more keyframe now I will again reframe it and I will change the zoom to 100% again i will reframe it to reveal me here i will reframe it again now i will change the camera direction towards me again i will change the position here I will end it here right so our final video is So that's it i think you have got the idea you can easily edit any 360 video using adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel on to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye